Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry, my room is a disaster back here, but also if you look up close, my face is peeling like crazy from my retinol right now. So if you see that, I am aware <laughs> it looks crazy. Um, I wanted to bring you guys before I have to go pick up my kids from school. It's Friday, so it's a half day. Um, I have two small hauls that I'm just going to do in this video together because I mean, I guess I could make a video of each one, but they'd be like five minutes. So I figured I'd just do it together. I have a very small destination wax haul. And then I finally got my Brita's pre-order. I honestly can't even remember what this pre-order was. Was it earthy? Like, I know she kind of does it in scent category sometimes, but I don't know what this one was. I should have looked it up. I'm sorry. But it's the one that everyone is getting right now and making videos of, um, Sorry, life is just so busy. It's I'm not always the best at getting all the details, but I like to explain to you the different scents. That's my favorite thing to do. So, and my hair needs to be washed and I'm in a tank top because I've been cleaning my house. Let me just maybe, so I don't play with my hair, just maybe put it back. What do we think? Okay, so let's do um, a Destination Wax first. Um, this one's, I think, even smaller than my Brita's one. First, she sends samples, always really cute, with a handwritten message. Thank you, Danny. And then something in French, Rebecca. Joyeux Freve. I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, let's see. So three samples. This first one is Cranberry Balsam. I have had this one before and I really like it. Uh, for balsam, spiced cranberries, apples, oranges, and grapefruit. Yep, it's. I definitely get all the fruits more than the tree, at least on cold. Um, but we know how like tree oils are. I'm sure on warm, that one comes out really strongly. Uh, the next one is Peony White Tea. And this is a wonderful white tea fragrance with some floral and berries, softer than white tea and berries. Oh, that is really nice. Peony White Tea. But it has berries. It definitely smells like a feminine body care, but like higher end body care scent. That's really pretty. It almost smells a little pink chiffon-y a little bit. And then Beechwood Vetiver. I've had this oil quite a bit just from multiple vendors. Um, this says Driftwood, Carnation, Night Blooming Jasmine, and a bit of seaweed and eucalyptus. Yeah, so this smells like Beechwood Vetiver, but it has, I feel like it has like a touch more eucalyptus or something. Yeah, it smells like beechwood vetiver, maybe with a touch more herbal tone to it. So those were the samples that she sent. Um, I got two loaves, which it's kind of hard for me to get loaves from Destination Wax, only because her wax is so soft. Um, I have to be really careful when I cut them up to keep them in the tin or else they'll just kind of turn to mush. There's a couple, I do that with Teddy Bees also and with um, Hayden Rowe. I do, because they all have a little bit softer wax. So I literally got two loaves and two clamshells or the um, breakaway bars is what they're called. So we'll do the breakaway bars first. The first one is Santo Rosa. I got this one. Um, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I literally forget, like my mind goes crazy. Let me get my other phone. Um, when I need to remember people's names and it drives me insane. Um, it's because, so I got this scent because one of the people, oh, Cole, duh. Um, he's on Instagram under YT underscore Cole. And then he has an Instagram or a YouTube page also. He loves this one. He's talked about this one for a long time. So I thought I'd give it a try. And this is just Palo Santo and Creamy White Roses. Oh, wow. I'm not always the biggest rose fan, but the rose, that is like fresh roses. That's not like grandma rose, not powdery rose. Wow. The rose comes first for sure. And then the Palo Santo. Well, that is really good. I can imagine like even like spring and summer, but the Palo Santo makes it more summery than spring. That's really, really good. And it smells like it's going to be really strong. Um, if you guys don't follow Cole on his Instagram or his YouTube, you definitely should. Um, he's been in the wax world for a long time um, and he knows quite a bit. So I, I enjoy following him. Um, the next one I got here was because of Grace Melting Mama on Instagram. Um, this is Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. And this is ripe blueberries and pumpkin with a bit of bakery spice uh, BBW type. 
So I'm, I'm turning into a blueberry fan, like a little bit if it's in blends, but I've always, my favorite blueberry, blueberry oil has always been blueberry pumpkin patch. It just smells different. It doesn't have like that really candied blueberry. It's more like it, you do get a touch of pumpkin, but it's mostly not pumpkin. It's like blueberry bakery. It's really, really good. So I wanted to see, I feel like not a lot of vendors do this oil though. So I wanted to see how hers performed for me so that I could buy a loaf of it when I wanted to. Because this is one of my very favorite like fall scents or even morning scents or even when it's not fall time. I feel like I can, uh, you know, melt this whenever. And it really is the best blueberry oil in my opinion. So those are the two clams. Um, then I got a loaf of Malabar Coast. Um, this is one that I've had multiple clams of, and I kept trying to convince myself that I didn't need a loaf. And then the last couple times I melted it, I was just so in love. I was like, there's just no way that I can't get a loaf of this. So the notes in here say warm black Malabar peppercorns overlaid with a light ocean breeze. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the peppercorn or pepper that it's saying there. Don't. Because I honestly, I I personally feel like if it lends anything here, it's just the warmth. Sorry, Coco's chewing on something or doing something. What you doing, brother? I hear you. Um, <clears throat> Hi, handsome. I see you. Yes, I do. Um, Here, do you want to say hi really quick? Come here. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, no. He's smiling at me. He always, he like goes like this. <laughs> You want me to hold you? Come here. What do you need? Okay. Well, then I'm going to tell him about this. Okay, thank you. So to me, this is more like, it's very aquatic. Like warm ocean. Like the, wa the water's not cold. It's definitely warm. And the warmth that I'm getting from like that peppercorn is almost like you have this warm ocean water brushing up onto like a warm limestone or warm stone coast. The peppercorn that I get really is more of just a warmth. Oh my gosh, it's it's amazing. I don't think this lends masculine or leans masculine. Somebody else might. I just think it's like stunning, like absolutely stunning. And it, I feel like the aquaticness gets more and more apparent as it uh, is melted throughout the day. And it, I think it gets even better as it melts throughout the day. And this is one of Destination Wax's scents that like throws all day long and well. So, so happy to have that. And then my next low is also one that I've had multiple clams of. The first time I melted it, I knew I was going to get a loaf at some point. So in love with it. It's so beautiful. Lori Brown talks about how much she loves this one too. This is Thai Temple Garden, and this is dark roses, incense, and aromatic sandalwood mingling with ancient mossy Buddhist statues. This is very, very earthy. <laughs> um, you have to like earthy scents, I think, to like this one. Ugh, it's almost like there's dragon's blood in there, um, like a green, yeah, mossy, but not like that masculine cologne moss note that a lot of vendors have. It's, there's definitely like a texture of like stone. There's definitely incense. What else does it say? There's definitely a dried rose incense kind of thing. It does say dark roses and I agree. It's like a dark dried rose. Sandalwood. It's so good. I do think that there's a dra like dragon's blood oil in there. I'm not sure what else, but I think it's dragon's blood mixed with something else. It's freaking amazing. Um, and it throws very intensely for a very long time. So finally got the low, some of the loaves I've been wanting, um, from destination wax. Okay. Next up is my Brita's, um, pre-order. So I cleared out, she does, she packs hers. I kind of cleared some of them out with a ton of these little green, uh, squiggly papers and then, uh, purple, um, tissue paper. Cause she's, it's Britta's Creepy Treasures. She's like Halloween spooky kind of shapes. So, which I love. I'm all about that. Um, but I, the ba the box was packed with those really nicely, but I cleared some of them out um, so that they wouldn't be all over my room. So she sends a nice pen, which I'm so happy about because they're super high quality. 
Um, it just has her name and website on there. This, I think the last time, did I get a clicky pen? This one's a cap pen. So, and then this is her business card. We know very well. She is such a good and sweet human being. So happy that I found her company because I love her so much and her wax. Um, so this, I, she sent two samples and this first one is necessity of life is cookies and this, the notes here are gingerbread, Hansel and Gretel's house, and Mrs. Claus's cookies. Oh, I just ripped the bag. Oh, that is a very, very sweet, like molassesy gingerbread and cookies. And Hansel and Gretel's house, if you guys don't know, is kind of like a cinnamon and sugar bakery kind of scent. Um, the next sample is Evil Toys, Hansel and Gretel's house, eggnog, and pink evergreen. Ooh, I get that pink evergreen first. That is definitely like a Christmas scent because you get that evergreen and then in the background that Hansel and Gretel and eggnog. Oh, I'll have to get some of that for the holidays. Okay, so I honestly don't even remember everything I ordered, which I it's not very much. Let me just feel here. So I think there's two loaves in there and three souffles, I'm pretty sure. So let me unwrap. Sorry to all those people that don't like free cleaning. All right. Oh, these are so cute. Okay. This first souffle is adorable. Has a little ghost and a little melt that says boo embedded in it. This first one is mornings at Crystal Lake. And this is barnwood, fire roasted marshmallow and coffee addiction. Never smelled this one before. Just sounded good. Ooh, that smells so good. Look how freaking cute that is. Oh, and she always layers everything so beautifully. Perfect colors for this one too. I know I'm hurrying, honey. Coco clearly wants me to pay attention to him. Okay, so I definitely get a good coffee oil here. It is not too sweet, not too caramely. I get the, bar, like I get a woodsy note in the base, that barn wood. And the fire roasted marshmallow, I think is adding like a tiny bit of a smoky note and maybe a, maybe a tiny bit of a sweetness, but not too much. This is definitely more like darker and woodsy and that's why I ordered this one. I wanted that barn wood and that coffee note together because I love woodsy coffee scents. Yeah, really good. Happy to have that one. Okay, the next two souffles are wrapped together. Uh, this one is not in... I knew some. I know some of her souffles were like different sizes or something because she was changing her cups up. This one's not in a souffle and it's shaped a little bit differently. But this scent is Lucifer, and this is blackberry jam, blackberry, cake butter fudge, and fire roasted marshmallow. Ooh, that smells so good. But look how pretty. So those are the embeds on the top, and look how pretty that is. See how it's shaped differently? Like it's shorter, maybe wider. No, same at the top. Shorter, so maybe a little bit less wax. So I definitely get like the blackberry jam and the blackberry first. If the cake batter fudge, I mean, it might be there in the background adding sweetness, but Coco, I definitely get blackberry jam and blackberry. This is like a very juicy, juicy blackberry scent with a, some, a tiny bit of sweetness in the background. I love the colors on that one though. I do not know what that dog is doing. He's probably going into Jossie's room. He loves to chew on her LOL dolls. Okay. And then I got another souffle in Killer Clowns. A ton of people were saying that this one was good, so I grabbed this one. It's strawberry, blackberry, vanilla bean, marshmallow, and cotton candy frosting. And it has a little headstone on it in mostly black wax here. But we are layered, of course. Oh, I smell the black wax. Even though I like this, I love the look of black wax, I smell it. I'm getting strawberry, blackberry, She usually has, her, her vanilla bean marshmallow is usually really strong, but I'm not smelling it here unless it's just in the background. Same with the cotton candy frosting. I'm mostly getting a sweet strawberry and blackberry, which is nice. I like that. So we'll just see how these cure and melt in a little while. And then next I have two loaves. I think they're both lavender blends. She has a great lavender oil. 
Um, oh my gosh, look how freaking adorable this is. Holy cow. This first loaf is Oogie Boogie Man, and I have had this scent before. This is lavender, vanilla cone, and vanilla bean marshmallow. I love her vanilla bean marshmallow, especially with her lavender. Okay, let me get the little broken pieces off. Okay, look at that. So there's a little cauldron that says Hocus Pocus. Then there's like the, um, the spell book. What is his name from Hocus Pocus? A centipede in a little poison bottle. And I think it's on a yellow loaf. Oh, and look at those colors. And I can smell it from over here. This is like lavender vanilla dream. I'm sure the waffle cones adding like a more of a buttery, sweeter sweetness. No, I can smell it too. Oh, I'm so happy to have a loaf of this. The lavender definitely comes first, then that vanilla bean marshmallow, and then I, and then the the waffle cone. It's so good. Um, I'm so happy to have that one. Her lavender is just really. It's not that this lavender is not soapy. It is herbally, but more in a cozy way than a soapy or masculine way. Okay, and then one last thing, the other loo. This one is a new one to me. I believe the notes just sounded so good. I was like, I'm going to regret if I don't get a loaf of that. Oh, and we have two bloody zombie heads. I love it. Let me take it out to show you. I think the loaf is gray. And then two bloody zombie heads. I think they're green and red. And then, um, look how cool that is. Oh, so cool. All right, let me get the notes here for you. So this one is Jason's Sleepover, and this is lavender, oak, forest, and fire-roasted marshmallows. So I fell in love with her oak, uh, Ozark Forest, I'm sorry. Coco! Sorry, it sounded like he was choking. Um, I fell in love with it in another one of her blends that I loved so much. And I'm actually smelling that the strongest here. It's this really, really, like, dry, woodsy, like, you're in a thicket kind of scent. Like it's a very aged, oaky, almost green leaning, but not like coniferous. Like you're, it's definitely like a deciduous forest kind of vibe. Oh, it's so good. It, it, it lends a lot to like fall scents. So it's like a, it's like if you go into like a deciduous forest at the end of summer and things are kind of dying and you smell like the dry, woody, parts of the forest. You get that. Oh, he has my husband's shoe. Cocota, coquita, hey. Bring me the shoe. So I'm smelling like 90% Ozark forest right now. So I'm gonna have to let this cure more. I'm getting just a touch of the lavender and I'm not smelling any of the fire roasted marshmallow right now. But that's okay. I'm going to see how this melts or how this, you know, cures a little bit and then melts. But either way, I like Ozark Forest. Um, it's really, really good. And this is so cool. I love that loaf. Okay, guys, that's it. That's my Destination Wax and then my um, Brita's Creepy Treasures hauls. And now I need to go get my husband's shoe for my dog and go get my kids from school. Have a good one, you guys. See you later. Bye.